We have uh, run through a number of uh, scenarios as, uh, as the escalation ladder um, continues to unfold. I'd, I'd like to answer that question in a closed session. Thank you. Senator Sass. Uh, thank you, Chairman. I'll save most of my questions for classified, too. I want to make one comment and then ask uh, General Nakasone one small question about the pretextual work that you all did. Uh, the comment is, um, at many White House briefings and a number of State Department briefings over the course of the last week and a half, the phrase has been used that the U.S. did or NATO did or the U.S. hypothetically did or NATO hypothetically did escalatory things or aggressive things. I think we should get the language right, which is there are claims by Putin that we did escalatory or aggressive things or are hypothesizing about aggressive things. There's only one aggressor here, and that's the jackass who's killing women and children. There's one aggressor. There's one person targeting civilians, and us trying to figure out what our obligations are to our allies uh, and our obligations are to the world and to, to humanity when civilians are being targeted is a really important debate that we should be having more aggressively, leaning farther forward, and we shouldn't accept the idea that because Putin calls us aggressive when we figure out how we try to stop the guy, uh, we are not the aggressor. Um, General Nakasone, you all have done some really great work on sharing intelligence to expose what Putin was up to. What do you think the implications will be one or two or three years from now from what we've learned from this more aggressive, uh, promiscuous, healthily promiscuous sharing of intel in advance? I think we'll redefine sharing, Senator. Uh, you talk about sharing with our partners, what that had an impact about being able to bring a coalition together. We talk about sharing with the Ukrainians you know, actionable intelligence that allows them to, to be able to take, uh, you know, combat operations to a new level. Uh, and then I think the, the other piece is being able to shine a light on disinformation. We've seen this in the elections, 2018, 2020, when we take on an adversary, when we work with a series of partners, being able to shine a light on, on these missed stories and these uh, false flag operations, uh, it suddenly isn't as big a deal. And I think that's what we'll learn from sharing. Thank you. Let me just um, make one comment and or two two quick comments. One, um, you know, I remember when many of us 